Hey guys, it's Kiera back with a quick tip for Cinema 4D on how to create circuit boards and engravings into your models. So before I start, make sure to give the video a like and check out my store. I sell everything from custom backgrounds to model packs. So let's get started. So first of all, you're going to need a plugin called Mace Trace found in the description below. So let's just pull it out and let's get a regular shape. Let's go for a platonic and let's drag the platonic underneath the Mace Trace and it automatically creates splines. So we're going to increase the segment count and instantly you already have a cool effect. Now all you need to do after this is get a circle spline, scale it down, then get a sweep nerves and drag the circle spline and the maze trace underneath the sweep nerves. Then scale down the circle again and you get a really cool effect. Similar to the atom array, but it can also be randomly generated. Really cool. So you can take the platonic shape, make another copy, make it slightly smaller, and you already have a really cool effect. So another thing you can do with this effect is let's say we get a square this time, and we can repeat the process where we get a sweep nerves, we get a circle spline, and we get the maze trace. So, let's get the cube, drag it underneath the maze trace, increase the segment count on the cube. So six, five, let's see where it generates a cool pattern. This is pretty cool, in my opinion. And then we can get the sweep nerves, drag it on top, and then drag the maze trace and circle spline underneath the sweep nerves. Then we can just scale down the circle, if we didn't do that already, and drag it on top. Already cool effect. Almost pipe-like, even. Even with a, with a couple more effects, you can make a really cool style out of this. So another thing you can do is that if you go to plugins on maze trace and you get point generator, then you open up the maze trace and you drag the point generator as a child of maze trace. Then you can make the cube a child of the point generator. And you'll get a really wacky effect because the point gener generator will generate random points and then the maze trace will collect connect them. And you get stuff like this. Let's just scale down the circle a bit. And a random mesh like thing. Looks pretty cool. So then, to make the maze trace as though it's engraving into the text or whatever other object you may have, let's get the cube again. Scale it down. Get the maze trace. Or actually, let's get the cube and let's put it in an extrude nerves first. Good. Now let's get another cube. Drag it under, get the maze trace, drag the new cube underneath the maze trace, then let's increase the segment count. This will do. And now let's try to use a cube spline, a square spline, instead of the circle one. So let's just get the rectangle one. Then get the sweep nerves. Mace trace and rectangle spine go underneath the sweep nerves. Whoa. Then we can take the rectangle spline and scale it down. And you get a cool effect like this. You can also rotate it a couple times. But this works pretty well. Then get the bool object and over here and drag both of them under and then switch to position and the cubes will make an engraving into the other cube really cool effect especially with texturing and even fill caps you can make a really cool effect out of this just to add another another effect onto your renderer model 
So if you like the quick tip, leave a like on the video and I'll see you next time. Bye.